Hi guys, I'm Jack Wong and welcome to Why This Print Fail. Let us look at today's printing failure. This is a 3D printed vase we had printed using Cura spiral control function. In some slicer, it is also called vase mode. The vase has lobes and holes along the surface, which make it a little less pretty. So, we decide to dwell into the reason behind this failure and give you some suggestions on how you can avoid it. Before that, we will like to explain about how this special vast mode works. When you turn on the vast mode, the slicer will remove all the infill top layer of your model and slice only the outermost layer of skin. Since the extruder only goes around for one lap in each layer, the thickness of the model will be decided by the line width of the extrusion. The best benefit of vast mode is that you can print it with continuous extrusions which your model can avoid any visible seam or line along the surface. Since it doesn't print in fill, it is very fast too. However, the disadvantage is that the model will be very thin and thus lack of strength. Now we have understood the working of the vast mode, let's proceed to the failures investigation. We will target on the bloke failure first. These blobs seem to form with a neat pattern. Through close observation at the extruder, we notice that the extruder tends to pause every few seconds in each layer and coincidentally, it is also the place exactly where the blobs are forming. In vast mode, the slicer will automatically disable retractions. This causes the filaments to overflow during the stopping of the extruder. This stopping behavior is caused by a software bug or mistake in some 3D printer firmware, which we can hardly do a thing to fix it. However, through some study across the internet source, we found out that there is another way to go around and prevent this printing behavior. The solution is to lower down the printing speed to around 20 to 25 mm per second. To prove the effectiveness of the solution, we decided to print out some similar vase with different speed parameters. We started out with 60 mm per second speed, which is the original speed which I am printing at the first vase. Here, we can observe that the extruder is pausing weirdly across every layer. This is the final result of the printing. There are a lot of blobs across the surface. Next, we decided to print the stem vase again with similar settings except for the printing speed which we tuned down to 25mm per second. As we can see, the pausing behavior of the extruder is drastically decreased and the result of the printing improves as we observe very less bloops along the surface. We did another printing again with the same setting and tried to tune down the speed even more to 20 mm per second. We are expecting a better condition of the printing and to no surprise, we got it. The result is very satisfying as we can hardly observe any pausing of the extruder along the printing. Bloops are hardly found across the entire vast surface. Problem solved. For the second problem, we found out that it is actually caused by the limitations of current version vest mode. For some complex design of the model, the first layers actually does not form complete rub over the infill. This results in some tiny gaps on the surface as the slicer removes the infill of the model. There are many ways to solve this, but most of them are complex and not practical such as redesigning the surface meshes of the object. Here, we will like to propose some solution that can be easily done to help to minimize the size of the gaps just by some minor adjusting at the slicer setting. The first solution is to reduce the layer height. The gaps can become less visible or smaller in size if we reduce the layer height. 
Through previewing layer view in Cura, we can see the difference in size of holes on the surface. Here are the actual printing result of the same vast printing with different layer height. As we can see, if the layer height is 0.2 mm, the holes are larger than that in 0.1 mm. So, try to reduce your layer height. The second solution is to adjust the line width. The line width can be tricky to set with when it comes to printing in vast mode. Some model is great with slightly higher line width, but in other model it might be the reverse. However, we will suggest that it is always the best to adjust the line width same as the diameter of the nozzle head. Here are some actual printing results of different layer width 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0.6 mm. Our nozzle size is 0.4 mm and coincidentally, the result is the best as 0.4 mm line width. The third solution is to set the slicing tolerance to inclusive. This is a setting under experimental setting in Cura. It decides how the area of diagonal surface being printed. Choose inclusive so that each area fall inside the area can be printed. From Cura layer view, we can see that it is almost perfectly sliced without any gaps. However, in the real printing, it still has very minimum amount of gaps but the result is very impressive. Lastly, you can solve the entire two problems by simply disabling the vast mode printing and tolerating the little imperfection seams that might form on the layer. Thinking on the bright side, through this way, you can obtain a more solid and tougher vast. Maybe just turn around the vast to hide the visible seam. Ultimately, we believe that as the technology grows, engineers behind slicer application will find better ways to improve the vast mode. Until then, we will need to find our own creative way to print out the effect as we desire. So, this will be the end of today's video. If you think that this video is helpful, please like, subscribe and share it to your friends. You might be their savior in the journey of 3D printing. As always, thanks and happy printing!